Good morning, students. Here is your math assignment for the week. And I say this week because I'm going to give you four days to complete this assignment. Um, and when I explain it, um, you'll see why. Uh, it's called the Math Calendar Project. Um, and you can see there's some sample math problems right there, but don't worry about those at the moment. Um, but we all know what a calendar looks like. So uh, since it is June 2020, uh, here's a June 2020 calendar. So let me show you what it is that you're going to do. Um, you're going to be creating a math problem for each day of this month. Okay. And obviously you can't like do this one today, this one tomorrow, this one all the way to the 30th because we won't be in the school to the 30th. So you have to create over this week, these four days problems for each day of the month. Um, and the answer has to match the date. So for example, the, the problem you create for here has to match the answer has to be one, here the answer has to be two, here the answer has to be three, and so on and so on and so on. You know, answer here 26, answer here 27, answer here 28, answer 29, answer 30. Um, so what you'll be doing uh, is you'll be using these different screens that I'm going to give you. And you'll have this Google slide um, for you to work with. And I'm going to show you how to work it. OK, so um, for example, let's just start with something simple like an answer of one. Um, so, and, I'm, and for this project, I want you to be as creative as possible. Um, you'll notice that under each number, you see a little asterisk, a little star. And that is if you click there, um, you'll see that there's a text box that comes up. Um, so if you go next to the asterisk, I just moved over with my little arrow, um, it's going to let me type into this spot. Um, so I could do something really simple to get an answer of 1, like 1 plus 0 equals 1. Um, but that's not very creative, and that's surely not very junior high. Um, I could do that, but eh, let me try something a little bit more creative. Uh, let's say I wanted to be really creative, and I wanted to say something like 22 divided by 22, whoops, divided by 22 equals 1. Well, that's surely better. Um, and I know that any number divided by itself is always 1. So that's certainly better than 1 plus 0 equals 1. But let's imagine that I still wanted to go just one step further because I wanted to be super creative. And I know that 22 divided by 22 equals 1. What's a way I could create something cool for this 22 to make 22 divided by 2 equals 1? So for example, I'm going to use some PEMDAS, parentheses, 17 plus 5, close my parentheses, because I know that 17 plus 5 equals 22. And if I divide that by 22, oh, OK. So then I go to my next line. What's 17 plus 5? Oh, that's 22. I didn't use this divide 22 yet. Divide by 22. So my final answer would be 1. So I could be creative here. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do, to create problems, which is why I'm going to give you four days to work on this. Um, instead of just doing 1 plus 0 equals 1, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 3 plus 0 equals 3. That's not very creative. I'd like you to be as creative as possible um, and use those junior high, 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade skills because my 6th graders, my 7th graders, and my 8th graders are all working on this project this week. Um, so let's imagine that that was the problem you came up with for um, the answer of 1. I'm going to jump over to 4. Um, again, I could be real simple and say something like... Um, 4 plus 0 equals 4. But again, that's surely not creative and not fun. Um, so, nah. And I could even say something like 2 times 2 equals 4. Well, that's certainly better, but that's not the greatest yet. I mean, but it still gives me an answer of 4. But let's imagine that I wanted to be even more creative, and I wanted to say something like 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And hey, that's better. Um, and that gives me an answer of 4, 8 divided by 2. But let's imagine that I still wanted to be more creative. And I wanted to take this 8, kind of like I did over here with taking 22 and expanding it to 17 plus 5. Let's imagine that I wanted to do something like this. Parentheses, 12 minus 4. Because I know that that equals 8. Divide that by 2. 
and that's going to equal 4. <clears throat> because 12 divided by 4, that's 8. Didn't use my divide by 2 yet. Divide by 2. And that gives me my answer of 4. So I would be creative there and then work these problems out, you know, just like I did here. If you create the problem 8 divided by 2 equals 4, or you create the problem parentheses 12 minus 4 divided by 2, show me how that works out to be your final answer of 4. And I'm going to show you two more. I'm going to show you on the next screen uh, something for 12. Um, and again, I could be real simple uh, and say 12 plus 0 equals 12, but that's not creative. But I could do something like this. You know, I could think, oh, okay, I know that 6 times 2 equals 12. And just so you know, for the times, I'm using that asterisk, um, which is above my 8 on my keyboard. So, you know, if you want to use that star asterisk for multiply, 6 times 2 equals 12. But let's imagine that I wanted to be creative, uh, and I wanted to take this, 30, this 6 and break it, uh, find a different way to make 6. Okay, so I could do this, because I know that, uh, 36 divided by 6 equals 6 times 2. All right. So now I have parentheses, 36 divided by 6 times 2. And again, using my PEMDAS, I know I have to solve what's in the parentheses first. So 36 divided by 6. Okay, that's 6. Didn't use my times 2 yet. Times 2. So 6 times 2. My final answer is 12. So I can be creative there. All right. Um, and let me show you one more, which would be 18. Okay, so again, uh, 18 plus 0 equals 18, but that's not very creative. Um, so here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to do 20 instead of 18. Yeah, let me do 20 instead of that. All right, so 20. So I know something like 5 times 4 equals 20. And that's good. I mean, that's definitely better than 20 plus 0 equals 20. But again, I want to be creative here. And I'm going to be even more creative here. I'm going to use two parentheses for my PEMDAS here. I'm going to break 5 down into something, and I'm going to break 4 down into something. So watch how I do it. 5, I have 3 plus 2. I'm going to multiply that by 40 divided by 10. Close my parentheses. And then I take a look. Since it's still PEMDAS, I have to do what's in the parentheses first. So 3 plus 2. Okay, that's 5. Didn't use my times yet. Times. And it's 40 divided by 10. 4. So what's 5 times 4? That's 20. So my final answer would be 20. So again, my answer matches my date. And if I look back here, 1, my answer matched my date. 4. My answer matched my date. Here, 12. My answer matched my date. And here, 20. My answer matched my date. So what your job to do is to create a math problem with an answer that matches each day of the month. And you're going to be working here. Remember, you're going to work when you click next to or you click into that spot where you see the little star asterisk. It lets you work in there. Once you, once you get in there, just click. I hope maybe you heard the double click. You know, you can move over. You, sometimes if you hit that, um, you'll see it, that asterisk turns into a little dot. So you can be back up. Um, it turns it, it'll, it'll let you go back again. Um, so no worries there. So this is your project. Um, any questions, let me know. Um, but take the four days and work out problems. You might have to work them out on paper. I worked these out on paper um, before I made the screencast. I didn't just make these up in my head off right off the top of my head, um, I worked them out on paper uh, and had them written out so then I could make the screencast for you. So you may have to do the same thing. Um, work out the problems on paper, make sure they work, and then type them into the box. Um, and again, you have four days, Monday through Thursday, to get it done. Uh, and you will have a Google slide uh, with this, without these problems that I did um, in there for you to work on. Um, so. Uh, enjoy, be creative. This will count for your grade for the week. And I think this is a pretty neat project. So enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon.